Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tom H Magic here. Um, just before I start this video, just want to thank you all the guys who've been subscribing, liking, and watching my videos. Um, trying to get the channel going, so that's really, really thank you very much. Um, today is exactly same, um, well not exactly the same, but um, same topic as the last video, death counts. However, I've been working on this um, for the past hour or so um, and I think I have improved it um, it's not ideal for everyone's situation um, but you'll see for yourself see if you can work it in your own uh, maps and mini games that you're building um, but I think it, it's a definite improvement and this is it that's all you'll have to build um, this machine you don't have to like my previous one where you have to build a, a section for each individual player that's going to ever join your map um, this one well not quite ever you can reset it but um, this one once you set it up it's good to go um, if you watched the follow -up previous tutorial you would have seen um, this kind of module here this is just this is just for the scoreboard uh, is to remove player offline um, when they when people go offline so this is this is the death tracker just this so uh, um, let's go through it I'll quickly go through this module and some previous setup here you don't have to build these three command blocks these are just going to show you what you need to do so first you want to set up a death count um, scoreboard this is just to track the score and that's it it's not going to display it it's going to track it this one is another scoreboard called death display and um, this it may be obvious is going to display the score um, and you want to call this deaths have a display name at the end deaths you could call it deaths and not ha um, so you could have scoreboard objectives add deaths dummy and that's it um, but I like to be um, a little bit, neat, little bit more neater than that uh, death display I know that's the scoreboard for the display um, but I don't want it to say death display on the side of the screen so that's why on the display name on the right um, I put deaths um, and just as all machines that you want um, if you haven't got a ticking area already in your world um, you're going to want this to be able to work wherever you are um, so add a ticking area you want to stand um, next to the machine that you um, stand in the vicinity but when you add this uh, because the squiggly lines mean your relative coordinates to you so uh, just run those in the chat you don't have to put them in um, command blocks to set them off um, I'm going to quickly run through this it is in my previous video as well um, but what this is doing is testing for all every time a new player joins or leaves um, it's going to set off this observer um, which sets all this off uh, so this is test for all on a repeating always active uh, which is running note the the arrows it's running into a chain command block uh, always active and this is the command what this is doing it's transferring the score from um, from the death dis death count to the des display um, because you're seeing a bit why uh, we're going to be removing the scoreboard every time someone joins or leaves uh, um, to be able to remove them from the uh, from the, sc the display um, so once you've got that you're going to have this hopefully you can see this okay but you've got your comparator coming out the block redstone dust into the face of the observer um, doesn't have to be in a block I just got a habit of indirectly powering everything unless I really need to uh, directly power something so um, that's just a habit of mine um, but you can put start there you can remove this block and put the command block chain from from this block here um, so this one is removing the death display and uh, so for this to work the first time you cut you need to set the display so the command to set it will be in the next one um, but it's going to remove death display then it's going to re-add 
the death display so this is the same one I've just shown you um, to set it up for the first time um, then it's going to set it as a sidebar if you want your scoreboard to be um, on the options when you press options to the right of every um, with all the names you can set this to list you would still need them the same setup um, if you wanted it above head you wouldn't even need to do this setup to be honest uh, um, because that just displays below name uh, um, so that would make this even smaller and easier and then at the end you want to uh, um, add zero to everyone um, in the map. This only fires when someone joins or leaves so it's not constantly running um, but it puts everyone on the on the score so that you can you can see them. If you don't want them on it, remove this. If you don't want them on it until they die for the first time, then um, don't put this block. Um, and then they'll only only add to the score once they die for the first time. So now for the main main event what you are doing in a repeating always active scoreboard is you're adding a score of players um, to all people with a level of zero um, experience level and you're adding the death count of one so the way this works uh, you can you can have immediate respawn on or off that doesn't matter um, but this only works with keep inventory off they need to lose their score their um, experience points sorry um, when they die otherwise this machine doesn't work if you do hold out I am working on a new one which will allow people to uh, um, to have the keep inventory on it's going to work a little bit different um, my first theory is going to be working with adding and removing set levels of experience as well uh, um, so that one may not work with uh, gaining experience because they're gonna um, it's gonna be restricted but I'll leave that one to my next video which you will look out for if you click the top right for notifications and subscribe you will find out just chuck that in there and this is the next one in a repeating always active commands you're gonna give XP one level that's one L at all of level of zero so this won't work until you're back alive until you've respawned back in and um, so that's why this has a, a second to even on immediate respawn to give you a death count of one so that's the the command there this would also give uh, any new player one as soon as they join so um, even before they've loaded in it works because they're alive um, and it doesn't add them to the uh, the scoreboard so that's very handy um, I just realized I haven't actually shown you the machine working um, which I was going to do at the start of the video but at the end we do so if I put myself in survival you can see I've got 10 on my uh, death scoreboard so far um, so if I just kill myself there we go 11, do it again, 12, I'm dropping the orbs, and you can see I've got one, just one, now, so every time we respawn, don't think that's a fair trade to be honest, a, a death counter for just one, giving away one free experience level, don't think that's too bad, um, but there you go, that's it, that would work now, um, you don't have to... Uh, build anything more like the other one um, so very good but keep an eye out I'm also um, gonna work in a kill counter to this if I can I've already started working on that as well um, so again please like and subscribe um, you'll hear from me very shortly but thank you very much for watching goodbye